FW. Our next guest, he's he's from Australia. Yep. A place that has given us some great famous celebrities like Steve Irwin. Oh, crikey. Mel Gibson. And the nude herself, Olivia Newton-John. Oh, how But about none that? more important than a lady that starred in some fine films like Beverly Hills 902-1-Ho, Fast <laughs> Times at Deep Crack High, and Missionary Impossible. That's right. Wood, Wood, Woodridge, Australia's own Judy Moore. Please welcome to the show Jesus. from the Seattle Mariners, Ryan Roland Smith. Yeah! It's a heck of an intro, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I was pretty happy with the Steve Irwin you know, thing, but... Uh, it kind of went downhill, huh? Yeah, it went right downhill, so... You're not yeah, a big yeah, fan yeah. of the newt? <laughs> I, oh. actually, I actually had to sing that song um, in the locker room. We had, we had like a little uh, Mariner Idol in spring training, and that was a song. <laughs> Someone yelled out, Olivia Newton-John, that's the only Australian they knew, so I had to sing that, so that was pretty pretty terrible. Oh, oh that, man. Can you do it again right now? You're not going to put him on the spot like that. Uh, that's not right. right. I have to, but I mean, I, I, how does Let's it go? Let's get, get physical. Physical. <laughs> physical. <laughs> I think we uh, let okay. me hear your body. Yeah, talk. you want yeah. me to take my shirt off? So body Ryan, talk. where that was an uncomfortable experience for you, Double <laughs> R would love the opportunity to take his shirt no. off in a locker room and sing "Let's Get Physical." That's not true. Oh, really? Will you keep it on then and sing "Let's Get Physical"? I just put the leg warmers on. We're not going to make you sing, dude. I was just kidding. I just need the headband. I'll be good. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. How, how did a guy like you in Australia all of a sudden go? Uh, this is my sport, and not only that, be good enough to actually make the major leagues. I, I mean, that's got, that's amazing. How did that happen for you? Uh, when I was a kid growing up uh 12 13 you know i mean everyone was doing the rugby thing my dad was heavily involved with a professional team back home and everyone and I, just cricket was so boring for me you know and then i remember seeing baseball and i was just i, I saw it on the tv a few major league games and i was just like just the hype i guess and I, I think just you know americans sort of do the sport well they you know just the hype and the way they market it and stuff like that and um I actually got some videotapes of the 93 World Series, the Blue Jays and the Phillies. Oh. And man, I watched those tapes over and over. And that's why we just you know, we just went to uh, Toronto in the sky. And I'm <laughs> looking at it going, oh, man, this is awesome. And, and we're talking to Ryan Roland Smith, of course, uh, left-handed specialist, great reliever for the Seattle Mariners. And uh, really, that is the, the, that is the, the highlight of, of, of this year, really, is the bullpen. A lot of people may or may not probably not know that his Major League debut was uh, when Ken Griffey Jr. came to town. He, he came out on the mound against K. Griffey Jr. and struck his ass out, dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Which probably didn't go over well because everybody was loving That's right. Ken That's Griffey right. Jr. so well. That so you they got booed by your own home. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, they went, they went there to support me. I didn't know who the hell I was. You know, they, <laughs> they just, they just wanted to watch, yeah, you know, him crush home runs. And I guess he hadn't hit a home run yet that night. And I was like, all right, I, I got two strikes. And I'm like, and I'm, I mean, I'm nervous and I'm shaking. And uh, I mean, the first time out there, I'm facing Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, you got to understand too in Australia. They probably know three baseball figures over there in Australia, like Ken Griffey Jr. because he's on The Simpsons, Babe Ruth because Babe Ruth, and, <laughs> and probably the chick off a league of their own, you know, the catcher. So that's, that's probably it. So, so, I mean, I was pretty fortunate to have him as my first hitter so I could say, hey, you know, I struck that's, this guy out and tell, him, tell my buddies back home. They go, oh, they go off The Simpsons. So that was pretty cool. And then I struck him out and, and the crowd booed me. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just put my head down and go back to the dugout. Sorry. <laughs> in a weird country I'm in. They, they boo you when you do well yeah. for your own team. <laughs> Yeah, you have to check your uniform. I thought this was a white uniform. Why am I getting booed? Uh, now, here's the thing. Uh, before we bring on our next guest, there was a bit of a rant. Uh, do we have the full uh, the full McLaren uh, outburst? Can we do that? You can grab that. Can you grab that? Because uh, this was, this was of course... See, this is what I love about sports. Now, granted, Ryan will let you be silent on all this because, of course, you're a member of the team. But as a fan, you just love it. Back in the old days of Lou Pinelli, you love it when the manager goes crazy. Uh, because, you know what? Hey, listen, you know what? That, that happens sometimes when uh, the, the game doesn't go the way you want to. And, oh, this is what happened in the dugout, or I should say in the clubhouse, uh, uh, John McLaren, what a happy boy. We're playing our ass off every day and got nothing to show for it. I'm tired of losing. I'm trying to get my ass beaten. So are those guys. we got to change this shit around and get after it. And only we can do it. The fans are pissed off and I'm pissed off and the players are pissed off. And that's the way it is. There's no easy way out of this. Can't feel sorry for ourselves. Got to buckle it up and get after it. Tired of damn losing this every night and we bust our ass. It's got to be a total team effort to turn this thing around and that's it. Wow. And that, of course, happened in the clubhouse. And while that was going on, apparently there was also a program being viewed. Uh, a great, great movie. And Steve, do you have an intro for one of the people involved with that movie? Yeah, please welcome to the show a guy that quite possibly might have gotten Ryan Roland Smith in trouble. <laughs> 
from the Broken Lizard. It's time to... Gotta buckle it up and get after it. Yeah. Please welcome to the show, Steve Lemmy. There you go. Hey, guys. Steve, welcome to the show. Good to have you on. Uh, we, we, of course, we've, had, uh, we've talked to Kevin and Paul. Good to have you on the show for the first time. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So, uh, Steve, also in the studio, one of the Seattle Mariner pitchers who uh, don't know if he did or didn't watch the movie, but you can ask him out. Uh, Ryan Roland Smith is in the house as well. Hey, what's up, Ryan? How What's you up, doing? Ryan? How you doing? What's going on? Uh, hey, are you familiar with Australian meat pies? Because that's my favorite. Oh, piece. yeah, meat pie, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's not a that's, euphemism, or is that a real thing? That, that's a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a real thing. People say, oh, yeah, what's an Australian food? I mean, we don't really have our own you know, real food, but meat pies, yeah, meat pies is, is definitely and what, what oh, yeah. So, Steve, you're familiar with the meat pie. I, you know, I spent about two weeks in Australia, and I think I had... A meat pie yes, yes. at least twice a day while I was there. Oh, that's there. nothing. Now, yeah, really, wow. <laughs> we have to warn the FCC right now. This is a real thing. We're yeah. not trying to yeah, do any yeah, double yeah. entendre. It's though. not like the chick version of the Vegas show, Thunder from Down Under. It's like, oh. you know yeah, yeah, I mean? no, I'm not talking about a uh, chicken cutlet or a uh, or a fudge stick <laughs> chair. Okay. A, exactly. meat pie, a real thing. So, what does a meat pie consist of, Ryan? Basically, it's like a. You get them at bakeries. Like the the local bakery is huge back home. You get like um like you know lamingtons, finger buns, all these things. Oh, <laughs> finger buns and meat pies. <laughs> I can't. But I'm about the, to say the, the same in the bakery. <laughs> you know what? This really sounds very. This sounds like it could be euphemistic. It could be the next movie. Is this in Slam and Salmon, Steve? Are we setting this up for that? <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah. Well, in Slam and Salmon, you know, we we deal with like the rear admiral. And, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, really. So okay, so a meat pie is Ryan along with the finger bun. It's and just the, it's and like. Uh, um, it's like basically this. Uh, they they kind of grow. I mean, I haven't had one for a while, to be honest. With you. Growing up, yeah, you know, we always had them. But um, <clears throat> basically, it's like this sort of like gra- like uh, beef, sort of like mince, sort of beef. I don't really know exactly what's in it. It's kind of kind of bad. But <laughs> it's like and a it's mystery just, meat, like thing? A, and it's just covered in pastry. Basically, it's just like yeah, you know, like a pie, like just pastry. So, so, so it's like a pie full of meat. Yeah, but you go to the local uh, bakery, you go get a lamington pie. and a meat pie. That is so Aussie. Like you know, that's just that, as Aussie as it gets. Like Ryan's talking about a nice a nice meat pie. I had like the crappy meat pies from yeah. the Seven Eleven equivalent. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh you didn't go to the real bakery. Oh. oh, you should see. By the way, Steve, you should see Ryan's face. It's like you didn't go to the real Australian. Oh, buddy. Right, he's like, oh, you dirty scrubber. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Like I'm back home. Right? Cool. <laughs> Steve knows his Australian stuff. He's That's not right. messing around. Oh, hey, yeah, I know so, all things Australian. So, Steve, it's good to have you on because, uh, well, uh, you know, uh, the funny thing that we found out about that tirade with our, uh, the manager of the, of the Mariners was, in fact, that some of the players were watching Super Troopers when it went on, which I can't think really went over well uh, with some of the brass. Uh, and, and, and you guys found out about it, and you were very excited to find out that somebody in Major League Baseball was actually perusing the movie. Um, yeah, you know, we, we like to think that maybe we're poisoning the minds of the uh, the Mariners. Uh, <laughs> or maybe we're helping them. I, it was nice to, to know that while this tirade was going on, that uh, that the guys were sitting around, you know, like a bunch of monkeys watching our movie and uh, and not caring what the uh, what the manager was saying. But I, I am curious as to who was watching. Did Ryan? Do you know? Were you one of the guys? I can't remember. I was just sort of I was you know sort of sitting in my corner like I do. It's, this is my first full year in the big leagues. I just sort of keep my mouth shut and sit in my corner. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but no. But Super Troopers is a clubhouse favorite. I mean, every, every clubhouse you go on the road, they all got it, and it's always on. Yeah, oh, really? So you oh, mean yeah. in Major League Baseball, like oh, yeah. Super Troopers is huge among a lot of the teams. Did you yeah, have any awesome. idea of that at all, Steve? Uh, no, no. I mean, you know, we're starting to get an idea that, uh, like that and Beer Fest. Um, das Boot. Yeah, Das Boot, exactly. I right. Right. Ryan, my first beer. Ryan, are you, are you guys hip to Beer Fest in the lot? Because if you bring that to the table, that'll make you the guy, because Beer Fest is also a fantastic movie. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Like, uh, I've, I mean, I've seen, like, it popped it up here on the computer. I've seen, you know, the pictures of it and stuff like that. I haven't actually seen it, but I know, like, you know, like I said, with Super Troopers, that, that's just a you know, legendary yeah, movie. you got to see Beer Fest. I love yeah. Super Troopers, but Beer Fest is, like, the ultimate. Yeah, uh, I, as a matter of fact, and, and I hope this isn't sacrilege, Steve, but I, I think I like Beer Fest better than Super Troopers, uh, and, and Super Troopers is a great flick, but I think Beer Fest, they did a, uh, did a great job on that and, and up the ante a bit. That's why I can't wait to see Slam and Salmon. Oh, yeah, Slam and Sam. We just uh, finished that movie. That one's, uh, that one's coming out in a few months. But, yeah, Beer Fest is... Uh, I-, I love Beer Fest, and uh, it's even more irresponsible than Super Troopers. So if you, you know, Ryan, if you want to share that with the rest of the guys. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe maybe the Mariners deserve a, uh, you know, a little preview of it, the first edition, before it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.